everyone, it's Bethany, and in this video, I am going to be showing you how I'm going to make a t-shirt with Everyday Iron On and the Easy Press 2. I'm making a shirt for an essential worker. I think this is gonna turn out really, really pretty. Um, I found an SVG that's beautiful. It's a nurse file for a nurse, but I will show you how you can customize it in case you love this so much, but you wanna make it for a doctor as well. So I'm going to go ahead and take you into Design Space in just a second. The file is so cute, so I am just so anxious to show you it. But I'm first, I'm going to go ahead and make sure that I have my space measured out on my shirt. So for materials, I have a shirt, I have my easy press mat and some everyday iron on in white. This is a navy shirt. So I always think that navy and white just really make for a really pretty shirt. I also have my weeding tool and then I have my measuring tape as well. And then again, we're using the medium easy press. I believe it's a nine by nine. And I'm just gonna measure out my space here just to see how big I want my design to be. And I think I am going to do, I think I'm gonna do eight and a half inches in width for this shirt. I think that will look really, really nice. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hop into Design Space and I'm gonna show you the cute little file for this shirt. And then I'm gonna show you how to look up the heat settings so you know how to preheat your Easy Press and how long to press the HTV or iron on, on for. So let's go ahead and hop into Design Space and we'll get started. Okay, so isn't this pretty? This is the design that we're going to be using for this shirt, and I will place a link in the description box below so you can see where I purchased this from in case you want to recreate this look yourself at your own craft table as well. So again, this one says coffee, scrubs, and rubber gloves, and then it has this hashtag nurse life down here. So if you were going to make this for someone who's not a nurse, say you wanted to make this for a doctor, or say you wanted to make this for some of the medical um, staff that works in the front office, this would work for any Anybody, but let's say you don't want to use the nurse life part you could go over into your layers panel and just find that portion of the cut file because they're all separate pieces so you could locate it by clicking on it and then you can click the little eye just to the right of it and if you click that it hides it so if you wanted to make this for someone other than a nurse then you could go ahead and do that and then you could um, customize it that way if you wanted to add your own text what you could do is you could come over to the text box here and then you could just find a font that you like and you could add it and use the curve feature and um, it would look really, really nice. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I am going to take this entire image and I am going to attach it all together because attaching it is going to allow everything to be cut in the exact place that you see it on the screen. And now what I'm going to do is I am going to size this. So let me make this a little bit smaller because I'm gonna size it way up on my screen. Um, again, I'm gonna focus on this section right here. I'm gonna make sure this says eight and a half to size that where I would like it for my shirt. So I am at about eight and a half right there. That puts me at about 10 and a half in length. And I might even size that down maybe to eight just because that length is getting a little long. Okay, so that looks good to me. I'm gonna be using my Explore for this machine because I'm going to be using a pretty big file, so it will just be easiest to use my Explore Air 2. Okay, and so what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to make this white, and then I am going to be using my Explore Air 2 for this. You could use, because they have it all separated out into pieces, you could cut this on the joy and maybe cut this top portion separately, and then maybe cut this middle portion separately and then the bottom portion separately. So if you wanted to do it on the joy, you would just go ahead and attach the pieces that you wanna to cut together and then you would re-put um, them together on the actual shirt. So you just cut them in smaller portion sizes, that way they fit through the joy. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and say make it and then I am going to make sure that I mirror my image because we are using iron-on and I will click continue. Okay, for my material, I'm going to select Everyday Iron-On. I'm using default pressure, and we'll go ahead and load our mat and get the design all cut up. Okay, so I'm on the Cricut Heat Guide. I'm going to select my Cricut Easy Press 2. My heat transfer material is going to be Everyday Iron-On. And then my base material is going to be a cotton poly blend. And then I'm going to use my Easy Press mat, and I'll click Apply. And then it's just going to tell us that we're going to preheat our material for 5 seconds. We are going to do 315 for our temperature for 30 seconds with light pressure. Then we'll flip the entire shirt and press for an additional 15 seconds and do a cool peel. Okay, so I have my iron-on placed on the mat. It is shiny side down, so you'll want to locate that shiny side and place that face down on the mat with that dull side face up. 
So now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my machine and get that loaded and we will get it all cut. Okay, so I have my iron on here and I'm just trimming off all of my extra pieces because I have a lot of scrap pieces that I can place in my scrap box um, and it will just help me use it for other projects that I have in mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start weeding my material. Before I do that, what I'll do is preheat my easy press so that it's all ready to go for pressing the shirt. So we're just going to reference that heat guide again. We're gonna turn it on and click the temperature button and time that up to 315 and then it will be for 30 seconds. So that's already ready to go. We'll listen for that to chime and then we'll start weeding our material. So again, I have it shiny side face down still and I'm going to just start weeding out the surrounding area. So I just get a little piece going and then I can start pulling. And I also think it's super handy to have the design up in design space. So I'm clicking on that real quick. Um, I like to reference it as I weed specific designs that have a lot of elements, just because it kind of helps me focus on what I should be looking for and what pieces need to stay and what pieces need to go. So I'm just taking my time and just kind of going along the perimeter first just to get all of that background off. So weeding, if you're new to weeding, is just removing any part of the image that you do not want to have in your final design. So I'm leaving the words and the vines and all those decorative elements on the sheet and just taking away the background. Okay, so I have all of the surrounding edge done. So now I am just going through and taking out my middle pieces. And that could be taking out the middles of letters like the B's and the R's or just the middles of some of these designs. So if this is where you really see the design come to life and take shape because you can start really seeing it come together. So let me know if you guys have done any type of essential worker gifts because there's so many fun things you can do for others right now. I also did a tutorial on coffee mugs because those coffee mugs honestly are just such a great gift for everybody. Um, no matter what you like to sip in your coffee mug, I feel like everybody always loves to receive one. So I'll, I'll place a link for that if you want to see um, how I did essential worker gifts um, with coffee mugs. I'll do this little heart up here too. I love weeding out stuff like this. I think it ends up looking really, really neat. But yes, make sure you inspire others in the comment section with what you have done. If you have done anything um, for, even if it's not medical personnel, remember there's so many essential workers out there right now. But let us know what you've done. I love hearing what you guys are working on and being inspired with what's on your craft table as well. Okay. So now I'm just going to work on these little letters and our easy press did preheat. So it's all ready to go when we are. I think this is going to look really pretty on that navy shirt. It's going to contrast really, really well. Okay. So my last little piece is this inside of this glove where we're going to find the word gloves. And then we are going to be ready to press. This is so cute. I wish I was a nurse so that I could wear this, but I just can't do <laughs> any type. I get so queasy. So even when I walk into a hospital setting, um, I get so queasy and I, it really breaks my heart because honestly, if I could handle it, I would love to be a nurse. I would absolutely love it. It just seems like such a perfect job that I would love to do, but unfortunately my just tummy cannot handle it. <laughs> But I like to think that I almost have my own nursing degree and doctor degree just because I am an avid Grey's Anatomy fan and watcher. So I feel like I am pretty much a doctor at this point. Okay, so here is what this looks like. It looks really neat. So again, I was weeding it this way. Then you turn it over. This is why you mirror your image. And then we're going to press it this way. So we're going to go ahead and get our shirt all prepped. I'm just double checking. It's really nice to turn this over, double check, and make sure that you don't miss any pieces because this is the time when you want to make sure any pieces that need to get weeded out are weeded out. But everything looks good. So we'll prep our shirt and get it pressed on. 
Okay, so I have my shirt here and I'm just placing it right on the mat. And what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take my press and preheat the shirt for five seconds. And this is going to make sure that I don't have any moisture in the shirt. It also takes out any wrinkles so that you have a really nice blank canvas to work with. But I'm focusing on that area that I'm gonna be pressing the actual design. Okay, so that looks good. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my design and get that centered on the shirt. And that looks just about right. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my measuring tape and just double check that I have that where I want it. It's about four and a half on that side and four and a half on that side, so we are good to go. Okay, so now I am going to make sure that it is on there this has a sticky back so once you place it on the shirt it really stays fairly well so i'm going to go ahead and take my press and i think i'm going to need to do this in two sections because it's bigger than the nine inches that i have in press so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do this top portion first so i'm going to place it right over my top portion and i will just press the little cricket button to let it go it does say light pressure so i'm just gonna place a hand on there Okay, and now I'm going to take my press and I'm gonna do the bottom half. So I'll just do the same thing. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to remove the press and flip the shirt completely over. And then I'm gonna press the back in two sections. Again, this is going to be for the 15 seconds. So half the time, so I'll do that top portion and then I will go ahead and move it down and do that second portion. And this is just going to ensure that that iron on is really on there just by pressing the back. So once that reaches 15, what I will do is I will just bring this down and do the second half and we'll be all ready to go. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is, this is a cold peel, so I'm going to remove it from the mat because this mat retains a lot of heat and place it on a cold surface and that will just really help draw the heat out so that we can remove the material or the um, transfer material quicker. Okay, so that's completely cooled, so I am going to go ahead and start peeling up. And I'm seeing a little area right here that's not quite down, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to grab my mat, place it right back under, and I'm just gonna repress those sections just a little bit just to make sure that we have it all ready to go to peel up. So I'll just take my press and do another little press here and make sure that that little part gets stuck on the shirt. Okay, so I'm just gonna let that cool once more and then we'll go ahead and peel it up. Okay, so this is completely cooled, so I'm going to go ahead and just start peeling away slowly and monitoring the areas just to make sure that everything is laid down. It's looking good. That looks really, really good on that blue shirt too. I love how that looks. Okay. And again, if you find any areas that are not quite laid down, what you'll do is you'll just put this right back over it and repress and then it will get it all perfect for you. So I love how that turned out. I think that design is just beautiful. I love all the little elements in it. The little vines are so sweet and then the little stethoscope and the gloves. I just think that's all so sweet. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. If you think this turned out really, really pretty, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Again, let me know if you have done any gifts for essential workers. I'd love to hear your input and I'd also love to get inspired by you as well. So I will see you guys on the next video and be sure that you share this video if you found it helpful to inspire others to just get creative and help spread a little bit of smiles and some fun for all of those essential workers who are just working so hard for us right now. All right, everyone, see you in the next video.